ways to renew or repair their relationships, especially during the new year, after the holidays, maybe a little bit too much time together. Well, and it got a little bit tense there, I'm sure, for a lot of people, a little bit hectic, so this way you can kind of slow back down and focus on everything, right? Exactly, and what I like to do is I like to give people tools that are easy mm -hmm. and simple and don't underestimate how effective and powerful simplicity can be. That's good advice right there. So right off the bat, uh, some of your advice you said, okay, simple, we'll get, we're gonna start with simple, laugh more. Laugh more, right? I mean, we don't realize, especially after, you know, maybe five minutes of marriage, you get into the doldrums of life, and I say to couples that I'm working with, when's the last time you laughed with each other? And they look at me, and it encourages them to take, you look at the simple things and enjoy each other or enjoy an experience together. And the research also shows, without geeking out a little bit, but it shows that there's all these hormonal reactions. It gets this oxytocin hormone, which is called the love hormone, that makes us really feel good. I love when you put a little bit of science in. I, I, I try to keep it simple, though. Well, along with the simplicity we just saw there, one of the other things is to say, I love you more often, too. Again, verbal expressions of affection. We Words are very powerful. We underestimate how powerful a word is. If you think about when somebody said something nasty to you, how hurt you feel, yeah. the same is true for how great you'll feel when somebody says something great. So tell your partner they, that you love them. Even though you think they know, don't assume it, share it. It doesn't cost the thing. And on the same uh, line of thought though, actions a lot of times can speak louder than words. Absolutely. So prioritize your relationship and put your partner first. So do, part of that is perform random acts of kindness, right? So it's a simple little act that just makes your partner know that you care about them, that you're prioritizing them. So a great one is, which my husband does all the time, which I love, he brings me coffee in bed in the morning. That doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you anything, and it really makes you feel appreciated and nurtured, and it's not a hard thing to do. Fill up your partner's car, with some gas, or go to a movie that they want to see, or make them their favorite <laughs> food. Really simple things that you have to do anyway, and it just shows, it's just showing them that you care about them and that you're putting their needs and perhaps what they like before your own. And you mentioned the prioritizing your relationship too, and making that a focus as well. Right, and another way to do that besides the acts of kindness is to have date night, and have it at least once a week. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It's just spending time together, not talking about the kids, not talking about work. And here's where technology is great. Let your partner know during the course of the day. Text them or send them an email. Hey, I heard a song on the radio I was just thinking about. Oh, you. that's nice. Or I saw you, somebody wear your favorite color. It reminded me of you. And just a couple more really quickly. Uh, have fun together, listen more, talk less. Sometimes that can be easier said than done, right? That's probably the hardest one. That's probably so. the hardest one. But the research shows what people really want in relationships more than anything else is to be heard. Mm. You don't have to always agree with each other, but if the person gets the sense that at least they were heard, that really goes a long way in improving the relationship and repairing it. And that way you have to focus on what they're saying. And that's another way of prioritizing a relationship too. Exactly, and then lastly, give hugs and kisses and cuddles. Again, it doesn't cost a thing and our body reacts, we feel warm, we feel good inside, and then all these tips build upon each other and then it puts you in a better place maybe when more complicated issues come up where you can deal with them. There you go, focusing on the basic things to deal with the more complicated ones later on. Exactly. Dr. Patty Ann, thank you so much for your advice this morning. If people want more, where can they get a hold of you? Well, they can follow me on Twitter, at Dr. Patty Ann. They can go to my website, uh, www.strongrelationships.com, and I have a newsletter, just look me up on social media, you'll see me up there. Yeah, she's easy to find. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us All right, this morning. have a great day. You too. We'll toss it over to Mike, one last look at the forecast this hour. All right, we're looking at a